Welcome back to the show. Our next guest is Nelson Johnson, author of Boardwalk Empire, The Birth and High Times of Corruption of Atlantic City, the foundation of the hit HBO series, Boardwalk Empire. Nelson Johnson, good Mike, afternoon, sir. Good to see you again, always. Good to see you, too. Hey, listen, we go back a little ways, back in the times of uh, myself working at the uh, Department of uh, Public Safety, which is a fancy name for the jail. I uh, remember you were a Superior Court judge, yes. Atlantic County, and uh, recently retired, I want to say. Is it a little bit more yes. than recently? Yes, full-time writer now. There you go. So, hey, um, we spoke a little bit prior to the interview. One of the first times I really did get to meet you, I was living out in Longport for a little bit, and uh, there was a book signing and a meet and greet at Margate Community Church. You're and correct. It, it sound cool, this Boardwalk Empire. That's got to be almost 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah about I don't, 20. I don't remember how, how long, but almost 20 it, years ago. It was ago. about 20 years ago, long before HBO series or yeah. whatnot. When was the book written? And before we get into that, Judge Nelson Johnson, I want to go back and forth. We're going, tell us a little bit about where you're from locally, uh, that great uh, town of well, Hamilton. I'm, and I'm from Hamilton. Uh, my law practice was in Atlantic County. Sometimes my office was in Atlantic City. Sometimes it was in Hamilton, depending upon what firm I was with and what I was doing. Uh, and I developed a keen interest in Atlantic City when I represented the planning board in 1980 through 82. Uh, it was sort of the Wild West. It was a really crazy place, and I was determined to make sense of it. And the next thing I knew, as my wife says, my curiosity got the better of me, and I wound up with a book. <laughs> there you go. And, and long before uh, the casinos and whatnot and the wild craziness that you saw, it was a little bit different back in the day in the uh, Prohibition and uh, where it would work empire. Now, what was that speared that passion and uh, with that, that history? Well, and I, I like trying to make sense of something that I don't understand and I think other people don't understand. So I was trying to make sense of why is Atlantic City City Hall so dysfunctional? Mm. And the more I looked at it, what I recognized was that you had a community that was looking for a boss. I mean, you had, you had Coonley, you had Johnson, you had Farley, and then after the last boss you know, was gone, there was like, everybody thinks they're gonna be the next boss. And so you got all sorts of hidden agendas, all sorts right. of backstabbing and craziness. Right. And so I was trying to make sense of that. And, and I'm a bookworm, and I went to the library, and I had two wonderful research librarians who fed me books. And one thing led to another, and I wound up with a book. And, and I recognized that Nucky was, was film. I, I right. thought it was going to be a movie. Believe me, a TV series is better than a movie. But I thought he was going to be a movie. And Nucky was just too big a character not for somebody to want to grab hold of. Not, not to be one. So when you say that, it's very interesting. Of course, read the book. And when you say bosses, and, and it's still, and we'll touch about this a little bit later, it still seems part of the problem now. You're a boss, not a public servant. Um, I mean, I say that. We've had four or five more go to prison. Uh, well, oh, well, that's, look... Uh, Atlantic City has never developed the traditional means for the acquisition, the exercise, and mm. the transfer of power. That, that's a big problem. So there's a, only a handful of communities in the state that you could even compare Atlantic City to in terms of that problem. And it is a problem. And it is a problem. And, I'm not, yeah. not going to make, make light of it. But we'll definitely touch on it. Now, with the book going from print to the screen, so to speak, what was the time period, and is there truth to Scorsese and De Niro or these people, these types reading it and coming to you? But there's there's a gap of time before well, this the, happens. Well, well the, the the book wound up in uh, HBO's hands uh, through a gentleman that I met at a. In, I don't know if they're doing them now because of COVID. But back in those days, in the in the early 2000s, there were pitch festivals, and so. If you registered for like 25 bucks, you could meet a whole bunch of producers and directors and, and uh, agents, and you would pitch to them. And I pitched to this one old gentleman who said to me, you know, kid, I remember this guy, Nucky Johnson. He said, when I was a kid, my family would vacation in Atlantic City. Uh, we stayed in a kosher boarding house. And, the, and 
if we stayed there two weeks, I knew my father's business was doing really good. If we stayed there one week, I know he wasn't doing so good. He said, but I remember this guy. And he said, you know, if you look at me, you'd never believe this. He said, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, a guy who's known for finding movies for 15-year-old boys on a Saturday afternoon. Give me four copies of your book. I got four friends, and I think one of them will want to talk to you about it. And he was right. And he was right. So about... Six weeks later, I got a phone call from an agent from a very big firm and said, you know, HBO is interested in your book. Several people have read it. And I said, okay, let's see where it goes. And so before I signed a contract, it was 15 months. I had to be patient. How about that? So yeah. the patients paid off. Yeah. yeah. And, and now you get this call and you go to back to Cali or what, what happens? No, 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 no need to go to California. Yeah, point no, no, understand. Everything, everything with the filming was done in, in Brooklyn. Right, right. Steve Buscemi lives in Brooklyn. Terry Winter was born and raised in Brooklyn. Much of the much of the staff, you know, and, and the cast was from the Northeast. So nobody wanted to go to California. So everything was filmed in Brooklyn and surrounding communities. And that's awesome when you say Buscemi. Of course, Brooklyn. We would have loved to have in Atlantic City, but that's another story. Well, that's a whole other story yeah. because they they, they 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 wanted to shoot some scenes in Atlantic City, but they said Nelson, there isn't one block where both sides of the street are authentic. Mm. And if you go around town, you, right. you, you, can't, you can't disagree right. with that. You yep. can't disagree with that, they're right. So they had to make the set? And, so they and had to the... make, make sets and find, you know, they, they found neighborhoods in Brooklyn, neighborhoods in, in the Bronx where they filmed different things. And, I, yeah. I remember speaking to you, we were sitting at one of our establishments having a pie and uh, some of the names came up that helped you uh, when you say you're a bookworm, uh, Miss Perez and Miss Vicky Goldie. I guess they're still around. Uh, yeah, Vicky's still around. around. Yeah. 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 yeah, she's in New York, uh, became a, a friend of mine too. Good lady. So. so when something like this, you continue, like you said, they say that it's, a, it's worthy, that someone's going to enjoy it. Now, how did the others come involved, the directors and whatnot? And oh, that's all, that, that's it's all, all under HBO's umbrella. Right, right. You know, and, and, and Terry Winter. Okay. He, he was the producer. Uh, they hired him, and he put everything together. He put together a team, made it all happen. And over the course of the time, was it five or six years? It's that five the, years. Five years it ran. And it's still to this day, I mean, it gets run throughout, whether it's HBO or different uh, stations now. I don't even know. You got Hulu and this, Lou. Yeah, and that. yeah I, think, I think it was on Prime for a couple of years. Prime so, for yeah. a few years. So would there be another Boardwalk Empire? Mark Wahlberg's talked about right. a movie. But he, you know, he's, he hasn't he hasn't done anything towards it. But he did. He, he gave an interview once where he said, "I thought we should. I think we should do a movie about it." Yeah, had a chance to sit down and talk with him at Ocean Casino Resort a few years ago when he was opening up his burger joint, and I mentioned it to him, and he said he would love to do it because I know there was some sort of rumor going on. Folks, listen, we're going to be right back. Stay where you're at. It's Judge Nelson Johnson, author. Boardwalk Empire, and there's so much more. The North Side, and uh, we're gonna have a good time and have a little chat. Stay right where you're at. Be right back.